Edgar Rallo Jr. for RalloWines.com and as always by my side, the professor Anthony Verdoni and today's a great one. In New York, they said, New York and you perfect together. At Rallo Wines, we say Montessu and you perfect together. This is a wine from Sardinia. It's a project between Santani Winery, uh, Giacomo Takis, which is the original winemaker at Sassicaia, and Sebastiano Rosa, who is currently the winemaker and family at Sassicaia. And they bought this beautiful piece of property um, down, down the coast by Calgary. And they make two really lovely wines there that are very true to the character of Sardinia. They make uh, Montesu's big brother, Barua, and they make this uh, Montesu wine. And recently, Sebastiano Rosa was here, and we got to taste this with him. And quite frankly, Tony and I were blown away with the Montesu, uh, the quality, uh, the price. It has everything going for it. It's a true pedigree. This is a, this is a thoroughbred right here at um, maybe um, a pony of the price, something of that nature. What, what do you like about this Carignano grape? Uh, well, I like a lot about the wine. Uh, first of all, as far as the Carignan goes, Carignan loves heat, loves sun, loves heat. And this area in the southwest of Sardinia uh, is, gets a lot of sun, gets a lot of heat, and the grape reacts really beautifully to it. You know, the famous red grape variety of Sardinia is Cananao. Uh, so it was a little unusual when Sebastiano Rosa and Takis got involved in Carignan, because everyone expected them to get involved in Cananao. Right. Cananao is Grenache or Garnacha, very important grape variety, of course. But Carignan is, is a wonderful grape. And when married to Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Syrah, and aged properly, it produces a really elegant, big, rich wine that's a good reflection of the heat and the sun. And what I also like about this wine is this is a first edition, and I think it's a little unfair. They don't know how much this wine should be priced. Because if you look at, yeah, yeah, we're not, we're not going to tell them. For a little while. I'm, I'm sure the next vintage will be much more expensive, because they'll get a reading on it. But, uh, you know, for example, a second label from Chateau Latour now is over $100 a bottle. Right. And when Barua started, it was $20, $25 a bottle. Now it's $40, $45, $50 a bottle. Right. So, so this wine at the current price is really a steal. So let's steal some. That's right. my philosophy. Absolutely. And you know what I like about this uh, a lot? And over the past few weeks, I, I've, I've drank, uh, had the opportunity to drink a few bottles, is that a lot of times when winemakers put Cabernet or Syrah or Merlot into a mix with an indigenous variety, they overpower it because the international palate wants to taste Cabernet or Merlot or Syrah and not these local varieties. And here, I think, on this beautiful sunny island, the local variety really shines through. I don't think you can really uh, mitigate Carignano. Carignano, Carignano grows in southern France, grows in Sardinia, grows in North Africa. So it's a big, powerful grape variety. This is a wine of 14.5 alcohol, but it's very harmonious. You don't feel the wood. Uh, everything is in balance. The minerality, the fruit, the acidity. And I think you can age this, but we just opened the bottle and it's perfect drinking right now. How long do you think we could age this for? Uh, five, seven years minimum. No, no problem. Right? No problem. But but the, the great thing is you open it now and there's balance. There's not harsh tannins. It's, it's very, very easy to drink. And I think that uh, we should have maybe a little sausage with some onions and mushroom and a little olive oil and taste and see how it really yeah. goes with the food. Hearty cuisine and this wine perfect together. Well, we're going to try it out. We'll be right back. Tony, I think you were right on with the sausage. Yeah, I think so. Hearty cuisine. Hearty cuisine, good cheeses, burnt cheeses. Yeah, we got some nice hard cheeses. That's really good. You know, I wanted to tell all our viewers that the wines that we review, we sell in very limited qu qu quantities. We're not here to sell thousands of cases of wine. We taste the wine, if Tony and I agree unanimously that it's a good wine and we want to sell it, we'll sell it, um, but it's limited qualities. These are not high production wines. You know, the matchup is really great, Vic. The uh, licorice, aspect of the wine goes perfectly with like, 
the, the seasonings that are in the sausage, whether it's anise seed or whatever it is. Really, really good. I'd like to say maybe a couple of dozen words about Giacomo Takis. Sure. First of all, Takis is an old friend. Uh, he was a winemaker for Antonori. He's a, of Sardinian background. So his first love was Sardinia. But he was the creator of Tignanello, the first winemaker at Sassicaia. So he created Sassicaia for Inchisa della Rocchetta. Uh, he created a wine called Cumaro, which is from the Adriatic. It's a wonderful wine. And uh, I would think he's one of the most important men in the history of Italian winemaking. So when he retired, or semi-retired, he went back to Sicily. He started to make wines for a couple of wines. Sardinia, right? Now. I'm Sicily. sorry. Sardinia, yeah. Not Sicily. I was getting mixed up. That's through Ireland. So both Ireland. Yeah. We're pretty good. So he went back to Sardinia. He started to make wines for Arjolas and created Touriga. Corum, too, right? Corum. So he is an extraordinary. This is an all-star wine to have Sebastiano Rosa, to have the Santati Winery, and to have Giacomo Takis involved in the fields and in the making of the wine is just a spectacular advantage. You know, and, and I think the great part about this, and I'm going to tell everybody right now that this wine, okay, for the low $20 a bottle, low 20s, it's an absolute exceptional value. And I believe what you said, that we're not going to talk too loud, we hope this video doesn't, uh, you know, get YouTubed all over the planet. Well, we really do, but we hope it doesn't go all over the planet because we don't want them to raise the price on this. Yeah, this is really one of the best value yeah, wines they, they can taste in all year. They will. It's just inevitable. It's a first edition, so it's out there at a certain price because there's always that uncertainty, but it's certainly a winner. Like when I used to work for different companies like Wine Bowl and Peachy, etc., we would taste the wine and we would say, this is a Parker 92, this is a $20 wine. So in tasting this, I would say this is a $40 wine. Right. To me, to my, to my taste. If this were in a store for $40, I would say that's a fair price. And I think it's an outstanding value. You can drink it, you can drink it now, you can age it. If you're going to a party, you would never ever be embarrassed bringing a bottle of this. Plus, it's, you know, we're exclusive in New Jersey on it. So it's not gonna be everywhere. I suggest you buy a couple bottles. You can go in that corner up there. You can click, buy a case. It comes in six packs, six bottles to a case. The prices are fantastic. You'll see the price list right next to it. We hope you enjoy the wine. If you do and you're cooking some food like we have today and you want to talk, you want to interact, hit our blog, tweet us, come to the Facebook page. We'd love to hear your comments, and we will absolutely respond. Any last words, Tom? Well, I was going to ask you about the cheeses. I know these are Italian cheeses. I'm able to pick that up. But what are they specifically? We have a Piave Vecchio Blue is the first cheese. Uh -huh. Then we have a Chianti Brillo, which is aged in a little red Sangiovese wine. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I believe, is a, uh, from Sardinia, the... Uh, Pecorino? Pecorino. Pecorino Pacific. Pecorino Sardinia. Sardinia. Because they're very famous for sheep cheeses. They, they say there's more sheep than people in Sardinia. And they make great cheese. Great cheese. So natural cheese. Absolutely. From from Rallo Wines, from Anthony Bidoni, myself, Victor Rallo. Thanks for viewing. Buy some of our wine. Any questions, you can find us. We have a social media chef. His name is Preston Porter. He'll answer all your questions. If you need me or Tony, we're standing by. Cheers. Thank you and to Montesu. Salute. Or as they say in Sardinia, Centani. Centani. 100 years. 100 years.